the presentation when it's diagnosed in a child seems to be uh, much more acute, much more severe. Uh, you can, although if you have a family that you're aware of that might have it, you may find it asymptomatic in a child. Or when you have uh, patients that have different phenotypic uh, presentations, just like those twins we, we just discussed, you may well see that it becomes mild in one and more severe in another. But typically when a physician diagnoses it, it's due to the child's bone pain, due to the child's thrombocytopenia, due to the child's spleen enlargement. They become uncomfortable, sick, and in pain generally and when they present to a doctor with no prior family history. The adult that presents with gauchets tends to present more uh, with the asymptomatic spleen, the asymptomatic thrombocytopenia, and then subsequently assessments reveal that they might have bone infiltration of the disease. Now what is gauchets? Gauchets is a is the deficiency of uh, glucose rubricidase. It can be partial or total. And the lack of that enzyme, which will, uh, is uh, an enzyme that actually metabolizes lipids within the lysosome, will cause the backup of the lipids within the lysosome, filling up uh, usually macrophages or cells that uh, metabolize the lipids further and further to become larger, larger, and therefore infiltrate the spleens, li uh, bones, livers. What's interesting is that only about 2% or so of the spleen is made up of those cells, suggesting that it's really the hormones or the cytokines that are spewed out by these cells that create the true phenotype. So it's really never been looked at uh, in terms of addressing directly into the, the hormones. We've always used enzymatic replacement but certainly that may be the mediator of the pathology here.